Assalamu alaikum what's happening guys welcome to doctor technology reviews today what i have with me is the samsung galaxy music duos and now this is a new uh, budget phone by samsung so you actually have ice cream sandwich in it and i have already unboxed this device so if you want to look into that uh, please see the unboxing video i have mentioned all the specifications of the device now uh, this device is rocking uh, an 850 megahertz processor cortex a9 processor that is and uh, it has 512 mb of uh, ram which does make uh, the device quite solid and very fluid in uh, its uh, performance other than that you do get ice cream sandwich out of the box in this a device and it is upgradable to jelly bean so this is something very very cool because uh, in all samsung uh, devices that are uh, budget friendly they don't have ice cream sandwich and neither are they upgradable to ice cream sandwich but this device being a budget device is still upgradable to jelly bean it and it comes with ice cream sandwiches so this is really really cool and uh, you can see over here we have the drop down menu which is very refined and we have all the quick launch settings over here so there are some significant uh, differences in gingerbread and ice cream sandwich and you do feel it once you are coming from gingerbread so this device is actually a dual sim device and uh, it is dual standby so you actually have two sims working at the same time you can send sms's from uh, the same sim from uh, the two sims at the same time but uh, if you get call on one sim the other sim will be uh, shown powered off so this is something to keep in mind other than that it's a brilliant device uh, keeping the hardware in uh, view this is, it has a very solid hardware it doesn't break or creak anywhere and uh, you can see the screen looks very nice it is a 3 3 inches screen and uh, the display is uh, good it's actually same as uh, the galaxy pocket and the galaxy y and uh, we do have uh, a shortcut music button over here uh, so actually when you press this the music player opens itself and uh, it starts playing the last song you were listening to and you just press it again and stop that so for music lovers this is a great great uh, option to uh, you can get this device in a uh, white color yellow color and this splash blue color and uh, this blue color does look very nice and very different uh, so this is actually uh, the lock screen of the device you can see we have some uh, things over here and we also can uh, pull down the drop down menu right from the lock screen and we have some quick launches over here we have this uh, gingerbread type of uh, locking screen and it looks very nice okay so uh, looking at the screen we actually uh, get uh, the drop down menu and we have wifi gps sound screen rotation notification mobile data bluetooth and sync and we can do it right from here and you see we have two sims now i have set the sim 1 to the primary but you can also set sim 2 as primary and we get a brightness toggle right over here and which is very very convenient and we also can jump to settings from here now it is also showing the ongoing programs over here and if i get a notification it will be shown over here also so the drop down menu of ice cream sand which is very very useful other than that uh, the uh, very useful thing in ice cream sandwich and which i love that uh, this small device has is actually when you press this menu button it's going to show you all the recent applications that you have used on your device uh, you don't have to go to menu and then application again so you can jump right into an application from uh, this and uh, then you can also remove those recent applications from here or you can choose uh, the remove all button so you see this is very very useful we do not get this in uh, gingerbread and it is really required with all android devices other than that uh, you can see we can jump to task manager from here and in task manager we have the active applications then we have the downloaded applications all uh, shown over here you can uninstall right from here 
and we also have the RAM information and we can clear the memory from here and you can see we can hold and delete a screen if we want to and so we can also add more screens over here and uh, you can see we can tab and add widgets and we can hold it and delete again it again other than that we also have the menu button we can edit the page create a folder and jump right into settings if we long press the menu button we are taken to the google search other than that here we have the dialer of the device and you can see uh, we have the option to dial from sim 1 or from sim 2 so uh, let's just uh, dial a number and uh, hear the loudspeaker Similarly, we can also dial from SIM 2 and we can also send SMS from here. We also have our logs, favorites and contacts over here. We can also make groups in uh, these contacts. Other than that, we have uh, the messaging app. We have settings over here. So these are uh, the messaging settings. We can uh, change the layout of uh, the messaging. Then we can also change the background as uh, we want and we can use the volume key to actually enlarge the font so uh, this is really, really nice other than that we have uh, some other options over here that are very very useful and we also have notification settings over here so here we have the new messaging typing screen we can type over here we get this uh, uh, alphanumeric keypad we also get uh, this uh, type of message uh, message typing uh, experience we can just type here uh, right over here So you can see this is very very nice uh, for a for people who don't like typing on this or uh, for any other reason. Then we can also go into settings over here and we have the full QWERTY keypad also. We have input settings, we have predictive text, we also have swipe over here. So keyboard swipe is something people have been looking forward to so we do have that. We also have the voice input uh, procedure over here and some of the settings. So here we have the QWERTY keypad and if we tilt the phone we do get the landscape type keypad also. So it's not very difficult to type on uh, these keyboards. Other than that we do get the option of uh, speaking so let's see. Hello. How are you today? So you see this is also very convenient. Uh, I like using this feature a lot. Other than that uh, we have the menu and uh, we also have the play store over here. You can see everything from the play store can be downloaded right into the device there is no problem i have downloaded bunch and bunch of stuff from the play store also have the camera over here let's see so here is the camera and uh, we have the settings over here the camera settings so you can see we have edit shortcut shooting mode screen mode scene mode sorry uh, brightness timer effects resolution and a white balancing center field uh, and we also have metering over here we have guidelines uh, so we have tons and tons of feature and we also have image quality gps and stuff like that and here we have some effects 
and we also have a single shot smile shot panorama and a share shot so this is something really cool uh, that this little device does panorama shoots also in in the video mode we also get the similar options that we have over here and we have different limits for the video that is normal or the MMS video Viber and uh, WhatsApp I have downloaded if you uh, long press on the screen you will get the option to change home screen and also lock screens so you will get the option for live wallpapers and live wallpapers work absolutely fine on this device as I have also also shown in the unboxing video so you can see that uh, live wallpapers are working absolutely fine but do remember that we cannot put live wallpapers on lock screens on any of Samsung devices be it Note 2 we also have apps and widgets then we have a folder and pages now let's jump into the menu and you can see we have the standard calculator over here then we also have camera we have chat on we have the standard clock uh, then we also have contacts downloads email we can set up our email account on this device any email account for that matter so we also have the FM radio over here and the most amazing thing about this device is that the FM radio works without the headphones. So you just have to turn it on. So you can see this is absolutely awesome that the uh, FM actually works without the headphones. Other than that we have the gallery over here and uh, you can see we have all uh, different images over here. When we go into images we can open them and we can pinch and zoom into images very easily. We also have game hub over here. We also have Gmail and I am using my Gmail on this device. So I am using my Gmail on this device and it is working absolutely fine and I can also reply people right from here. So we also have Google Plus, we have the Internet Explorer. The device is connected to my uh, Wi-Fi over here and uh, you can see that flash content is also loading. So you can see that uh, the device is, uh, that uh, the websites load without a problem. You can also pinch and zoom into sites, and you see they work absolutely fine. Let's see if we can play some video over here. So you can see I have my video over here. Let's see if we can play this. Since YouTube is not working in Pakistan, let's see if uh, we can play through this. Assalamu alaikum. What's happening guys? Welcome to Dr. Technology Reviews. Today what I have with me is the Sony Xperia U. Now this is a Sony Xperia Next device uh, which refers to the fact that uh, this would be getting some software updates uh, android updates that is and uh, this cost about uh, 19,000 rupees so you can see that uh, videos are working absolutely fine in youtube and other videos will also work on this device so you can see that the browser of this device works absolutely fine works like a charm let me just show you the maps over here so you can see that maps load absolutely fine and we can also pinch and zoom into maps we also have messaging then we have the google plus messenger we have the music player so if we put down the device like this uh, the music is, is gonna stop okay so let's just play a song
So you can see, if I put down the device, the music is going to stop. So we have a lot of options in the music player also. Other than that, uh, you can see we have my files. That is actually the place where we can uh, have all our files. We can see all the files in uh, the device. We also have navigation, phone, a play store. Then we also have quick office. So we can actually have all our office documents over here and uh, we uh, and also pdf documents we also have the s planner which is ex actually the calendar we also have samsung apps we have search then we have settings so let's see the settings here you can see first we have the wi-fi toggle over here and if you click on it we actually go to all the wi-fi networks available we also have the bluetooth over here we have data usage that actually shows the mobile data that has been used or is being used presently we have some more settings over here uh, mobile network settings also we have the sim manager settings because we are using two sims over here we also have the sound settings we have a different sounds over here then we have the display settings and we have brightness and we also have get different fonts with it you can see we can set these fonts so this is basically ICS we get this in Galaxy S3 and other high-end devices we have wallpapers and we also have motion sensors and now a scan the device for updates we can use this and we can just shake our device and it's gonna scan for updates we also have the storage information right over here. You can see total storage sums up to about 2 GB. Then we also have a battery percentage over here. It also shows the battery usage and it also shows how much battery is left. We do not get a percentage indicator over here. But we can download loads of widgets. We also have the application manager where we have all the applications and you can see you can see the device memory over here and then we have the running applications which uh, actually show uh, the RAM other than that we have account in sync then we have uh, location settings security we can have different locks over here and we have different lock screen options so we can have clock then we can have shortcuts we can also have weather on the lock screen so this is something good we can also have owner information uh, right on the lock screen then we have uh, language and input settings backup and reset date and time accessibility developer options and about device and we also have device updates so this will be getting jelly bean we have 4.0.4 right now running now let's first do a quadrant benchmarking test on this device so here we have the quadrant benchmarking result and you can see that this device scores 2182 uh, which is slightly higher than uh, Desire HD and Nexus S. So this is something very very cool. Noir A10 actually scored 2500 and this is scoring 2182 that is almost 2200. So there is not much of a difference here. You can when we go into system information you can see uh, what kind of RAM we are running we have a ARM version 7 processor and it is running on 850 MHz we also have uh, the display settings over here and uh, this is the GPU renderer video core IV and as uh, temple run works fine on this device so uh, it really is good Okay, so uh, let's see Temple Run over here.
Well, thanks to the Cortex A9 processor, uh, Temple Run is working fine on this device. Uh, I did see slight uh, sound lag, but still the game is working fine. So let's see Fruit Ninja. So here was Fruit Ninja and it was working absolutely fine, didn't see any lag anywhere. So you can see that Angry Birds also works fine on uh, this device, I didn't see any problem. Let's see speed motor. So you can see that Smeen motor works absolutely fine. Okay guys, lastly let's see Raging Thunder 2 on uh, this device, how it performs. you can see that the uh, raging thunder works okay did see a slight sound lag uh, at uh, some points but the game was running fine and uh, that's really really good the temple run and raging thunder and games like these work fine on uh, this device so you can see we have uh, skype on this device and here we have the contacts and we do get the video call option but obviously you won't the other person won't be able to see you because we don't have a front camera but i guess the back camera will be used let's just make a call so you can see that uh, you can make a call likewise obviously i'm not online so i can't pick up the call but still uh, you actually can see the other person and the other person can see you so you can make a video call and another very cool feature of this device which uh, Samsung has missed in all its budget devices is that you, you can't forward SMS to more than 10 people at a time so in this device uh, I think because of ice cream sandwich or maybe because the Samsung has fixed the problem uh, you can send SMS to unlimited people at the same time in even in Galaxy S3 I had this problem that I couldn't send messages to more than 10 people at the same time other than that it's an awesome device and I guess it's a better um, investment than Galaxy Y and Galaxy Pocket so this device is really something to go for so this is Dr. Technology signing off if you have any questions and queries uh, please ask me 
please do subscribe to my channel please do like my facebook page and i will see you in my next video till then stay cool and stay happy